Hello, welcome back, my Royal Rogies. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight, we have a challenge that I came up with as soon as saw this uh, picture of Megan. According to the Daily Mail, she went to the farmer's market without Harry because, uh, you know, they are uh, separating their brands and stuff. And maybe it was Harry's turn to make lunch or something. And by the way, these photos were released today as if she was going today to the farmer's market. Uh, but thanks to the keen eye of Megan Small, we realized that this particular farmer's market only opens on Tuesdays. So she was sitting four days on those pictures just to release them the day Catherine was going to be at the Wimbledon's women's finals. <laughs> Such a coincidence, right? But then I came up with this photo to debunk the rumors that Meghan and Harry don't spend time together. There's Harry inside the bag. But then I realized that this was physically impossible. Harry couldn't fit in there. So I put myself through a challenge. For every 20 retweets, I will make Meghan's bag bigger. And this is uh, what happened. Oh, a bigger bag. Now Harry would fit nicely in there. But he looks a bit alone, so I uh, asked my rogues on Twitter to, to suggest who should be there with him. And of course, with every step, Megan's bag was going to get bigger and bigger. Then Nacho joins the party, and that's where things really went downhill. Because once Megan's bag hit the ground, I added Omid Scooby and Pierce Morgan. But Pierce Morgan would never jump into that bag, so he'd be watching from a safe distance instead. And now we have Shola Moss Maruchan because diversity and inclusion. And the bag is so big now that it needs its own security. So Chris Sanchez is to the rescue, very close to Meg, just in case. And now Marcus Anderson is about to open a Soho house inside the bag. It's that big, and Elton John is wondering why the F are Harry and Nacho so close with so much space. And then Madea, Oprah, and Doria join the Black Women Empowerment Movement. And I ask uh, uh, Most Reverend Michael Curry, is this enough? And he answers, it is not enough. It is not enough. Next, an almost final step was adding the candle. Fulani trying to raise bait anyone inside the bag, and Jeremy Clarkson uh, was offering Megan a huge zucchini because he was sure she was going to like it. And by the time this video was being recorded, the last step had been making some space for the bag to keep growing, and Christopher Bowsey going for a cloud ride. And according to Tass, also spotted that Megan goes to a farmer's market with one of her dogs, despite knowing dogs are not allowed, surprising exactly zero people, because you know this is something Megan would do. What Megan wants, Megan gets, right? And I find in bad taste that some outlets need to always say something edgy about the prince and princess of Wales. But the problem is when these outlets don't find anything edgy, then they'd have to make up something. And that something is sometimes mentioning the Welsh children. Uh, I would like to know what is their fixation on Louis. I'm not going to post the video they included here, but the tweet should give you a nice idea of what is this about. William and Kate got the school holidays off to a flying start by taking their children on a family day out to the world's largest military air show, but Prince Louis didn't seem impressed. I don't know what these people are expecting. They claim that Louis was uh, restless or something, when even if it's about planes, it was a rather formal engagement. And he is five years old. Five! I mean, I'm a grown-ass adult, and if you tell me to go to an air show, I'm not going to expect a tour inside a plane. No, that is boring. I want to see missiles and explosions and aircraft breaking the sound barrier and stuff. And that's me. Imagine a five-year-old. So the video that Sky News published was Louis Borg. And then Miss Anne Harriman, the uh, personal photographer and Photoshop advisor to the articles, gave his opinion to this. I really wish the press would just stop filming these babies all the time. Let them be. It doesn't feel right. Even if it's a formal press call, they should just publish the set of shots and not this candid observation stuff, especially when they are so small. 
Does advertising revenue matter more than protecting these uh, kids? Come on, folks. Also, some of the comments on Twitter are abhorrent. We have to be better than this. And just to be clear, I am no missing Harriman fan. But what he's saying is not objectively bad, per se. In fact, it makes a lot of sense in many ways. I'm going as far as saying that it echoes what William complained about royal coverage, to some extent. That outlets are more interested in gossip, body language, what Catherine is wearing, and now Louis, than the event itself. But of course, there's a big difference. It's no secret that Harriman is a fervent defender of the Harkle. So it's not hard to imagine that it's been closely followed by the Sausage Squad. And the Sausage Squad won't miss any chance to attack not only William and Catherine, but their children too. So it's a bit ironic, don't you think? Harriman says something that uh, makes sense in many ways. He even complains about the comments but in doing so, he attracts way more toxic comments directed at the Wales family, who could have known. So much so that he deleted the tweet. And as Canel says, Misson deleted his tweet too late under that tweet pontificating where threats and abuse to the Wales children from Meg's fans simply because their irrelevant Meg is losing left, right and center. This is Meg's toxicity. Meanwhile, Catherine keeps shining with her beautiful family. And Lizzie Robinson from ITV replied to Harriman on Instagram, trying to clear up things. Hi, Missing. A small number of media were invited by Kensington Palace for this visit with their children. This was an official press engagement. Their words and pictures were then distributed to other outlets to keep the media involved to a minimum, making sure to stay at that short distance. I think there's no easy answer here because watching Louis being a bit restless is no big deal. It's something normal. It is not news. But the fact of driving attention to him is the slippery slope of toxicity. The good news is that I'm sure that Louis is not going to read any of those nasty comments for a long time if he ever gets to read them. And I was going to ask you if you thought that William and Catherine should be more strict with what's published, but... They cannot control what the media is filming. In fact, I think it's great that they brought the children to this. It's like a royal engagement and a family trip at the same time. But toxicity is everywhere. And it's like the Sausage Squad are angry that Harry and Meghan's kids don't get the same treatment of the Wills' kids uh, by the media. Because, you know, they have to turn this into a competition of sorts, which is both childish and deranged at the same time. I would love to know what's your opinion in all this in the comments. My royal rogues, I'm thankful that more than 1 million of you watch my videos in the last 30 days. But somehow, only a fraction of that million has subscribed to my channel when it's completely free. All you need to do is hit the subscribe button and that's it. Thanks for inspiring me to make these daily videos. And remember, much love and bless.